Hello everyone, I'm Kalkskis and this is a video about a project building a LEGO tank. In fact, it's my first YouTube video and the first LEGO mock I've built in years. It all started about three years back when two separate things happened. The first one was wandering into a toy store and seeing the Technic LEGO flagship set there, set uh, 8047, which is a well-known and beautiful Technic LEGO model with a lot of complexity and remote control functionality. I had a lot of fun building it and playing with it for a while, but then I felt the urge to create something myself. At about the same time, I saw a video of a LEGO mock on YouTube from a guy called Kyuta97. He has made a lot of epic LEGO mocks, but one especially piqued my interest, which was his autoload LEGO RC tank which you will find a link to in the description below. I was really impressed by all the functionality he managed to incorporate into his creation, especially the shooting functionality. And then I thought, could I make something like that? And if I could, how cool that would be. So I started building small Lego tanks in which I tried to recreate some of the functionality I'd seen in Guyuta's creation. The first ones were really modest and nothing to write home about. I clearly had a lot of catching up to do before I could build with Lego with anywhere near Guyuta's proficiency. The first creation that I was somewhat pleased with was the third, which I simply called a Mark III. What I liked about this creation was that I managed to include a lot of the functionality of Guyuta's tank. It also looked pretty cool, at least in my eyes. And furthermore, it moved pretty fast and smoothly. The only important function it lacked was remote controlling the gun barrel. Although the gun barrel could move up and down, there just wasn't enough space in the turret to include the mechanics to move the barrel remotely. At least not with the LEGO construction techniques I knew at the time. So I decided on a radical departure for my next attempt, the Mark IV. Compared to the Mark III, the Mark IV was a really massive tank. One thing I learned about building tanks with complex turrets is that you better start with building the turret. Include all the functionality you want while making it as small as possible and then continue to build a chassis to fit the turret. If you don't do it in that order, then there is a good chance that the turret and the chassis will not match. Although that this was the right construction plan, it didn't really work out with the Mark IV. In a Mark IV I for the first time managed to include all the functionality of Guyuta's tank, excluding the lights, which I wasn't really interested in recreating anyway. But besides that achievement, I wasn't really happy with the result, because the build had some serious flaws. One of the most serious was the size and weight of the tank. The chassis didn't really have enough rigidity to fully support the weight of the tank and became wobbly as a consequence. Furthermore, although it had six motors powering it, it still moved pretty slowly, also because of the weight. And finally, the track pace was too long, which made it at first speed terribly slow. Another thing I wasn't happy about was the suspension which, like Utah's, was done with rubber bands. The problem with rubber bands is that they dry out, and after replacing all the rubber bands on the tank, I figured there might be a better way of doing it using LEGO springs. The other thing I wasn't happy about was the firing mechanism. It had several problems. Uh, it was underpowered. The projectiles usually hit the ground after only one meter. Due to the way the pullback mechanism worked, which was still the same mechanism as Guyuta used, the barrel could only fire horizontally, not when either depressed or elevated, more than a tiny amount. And finally, my implementation of it took up a lot of space in the turret, so it was impossible to build a smaller turret. So I resolved to make a smaller, lighter tank with a suspension made with Lego springs and a more powerful gun. And as I found out, all of this has to, had to start with a very compact turret, which meant building a firing mechanism first and as compactly as possible. That was the start-off point of what became the Mark V and the Mark 5.1, which are mostly the same tank. The firing mechanism of the Mark V is very different from the Mark IV's. It is much more powerful, which I was very happy with. The projectile has a very high velocity, so much so that it is sometimes difficult to spot them in the video. At the same time, however, it was very slow to reload, and it still had some problems with launching projectiles when the barrel was elevated, because nothing kept the projectiles in place. Also, as you can see in the video, the firing mechanism draws the string back, but before releasing, it slackens significantly. 
losing much of the built-up power. Finally, I didn't much like the magazine at the top. Although it was very convenient for reloading, I felt it seriously detracted from the looks of the tank. What I was very happy with with the Mark V was how well the chassis turned out. With the reduced weight of the turret, and with what I had learned from previous builds, I was able to make a somewhat smaller, but very light and strong chassis, which had excellent driving characteristics, as you will see. I also managed to replace the rubber bands with Lego springs, which worked magnificently. In fact, I was so happy with the chassis that I didn't feel a strong urge to improve it further. Instead, I focused on the things in the turret that I still wasn't happy with, especially the firing mechanism took some serious effort. It was relatively easy to resolve some problems, like loading faster, firing at an angle, and eliminating the top magazine. I could easily make the mechanism fire faster by using those large 42 Technic gears, instead of the worm gears I had been using. Firing at an angle and the top magazine were both resolved with the same solution, which was to use one of those rubber band magazines you can often find in YouTube videos of LEGO guns. However, building a compact mechanism that didn't waste the build up tension in the ballista was a huge challenge. I couldn't find any inspiration for that online. I tried several things, but each time the mechanism became either too complex or too big. Until I had something of a eureka moment, when I realized I should use the movement of the string going backwards to secure itself, without building an additional mechanism to do it. And after some experimentation, I came up with this solution which I think is very elegant. The Mark 5.1 now has a very powerful rapid firing gun with a bottom fat magazine which enables the gun to fire at any angle. The tank itself is pretty agile, both the turret and the chassis traverse very fast and the suspension works like a dream. Furthermore, the three battery packs that power the creation can easily be replaced. Please note that this footage is taken from the Mark 5 instead of the Mark 5.1. The Mark 5.1 turret is even smaller than the Mark 5s. In the next two clips you can see the gun firing of the Mark 5.1. As you can see it fires very rapidly in succession and also the projectiles leave the barrel at a high velocity so they are hard to spot sometimes. In the first clip you can see the gun firing normally and in the second clip you can see that it's no problem to have the gun fire at an angle. Please note that the gun actually is firing here, although due to the velocity of the projectiles it's very difficult to see.
target practice with the Mark V. It's a very slow gun, so it takes a while. But in the end, I do get them all. Finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some people. First of all, my uncle, who was gracious enough to borrow me some photography equipment without which I couldn't have made this video. I'd also like to thank builders like Yuta for providing me with inspiration. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please rate it below, and I would appreciate any comments you'd like to share. Because I know this question will probably be asked, no, I'm not going to make instructions for the whole tank. But if there is enough interest, I might make instructions for the firing mechanism. However, however, should you really want to make a firing mechanism like the one I used, I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to build one just by looking at this video. Because that's the way I learned to create nearly everything I needed for my tanks. This is more or less the end of the video. However, for those who are interested, I've included some pictures of uh, other aspects of the tank.